Good afternoon and welcome to Stadium MK for today's Sky Bet League One fixture with Crew Alexander. We would like to thank our official partners, Suzuki. Right, let's look at some selected stats of both teams. Going into the Easter break, the Dons have moved up to 12th in the League One table after a run of four straight victories and just one defeat. With two defeats and two wins and one draw going into the Easter break, Crew sit in 14th place. As the attacking stats show, the Dons have a higher ratio in goals scored, passes completed and attacking duels won. However, in the defensive stats, it's crew come out in top in defensive actions, interceptions, aerial duels and ball recoveries. Looking at the Dons team stats, Cameron Jerome is still the clear leader, though Scott Fraser is now in contention with the talented Will Grigg hot on their heels. Crew's top goal scorer is Mandron, with Finney, Dow and Kirk very close behind. The new Suzuki Hybrid Range. For you, me, her, him, everyone. Crew's nickname is the Railwaymen because of the town's link with the rail industry. They have played at Gretzi Road since 1906. The club was actually formed in 1877 and named after Princess Alexandra. They spent the 1910s in the Central League before they were invited to join the newly created Football League 3rd Division North in 1921, where they spent the following 37 years. In the 2019-20 season, shortened due to the Covid outbreak, Crew secured promotion to League One under David Artell, manager since January 2017. Artel was appointed manager of Crew Alexander in January 2017 and went on to lead the club to promotion out of League 2 at the end of the 2019-20 season and became League 2 Manager of the Year as a result. After starting the 2019-20 season with four wins in six games, Artel was again nominated for the EFL League 2 Manager of the Month award. Crew were top of the table on the 15th of March when the EFL was suspended due to COVID-19. Crew's recent form has been indifferent. A 1-1 draw with Blackpool, a 3-0 loss to Lincoln, a 1-0 win over Doncaster Rovers, a 3-0 loss to the Brewers and a 1-0 win over Northampton Town. The French professional footballer joined the academy at Sunderland, making his Premier League debut in 2013. He joined League Two side Fleetwood Town on loan in 2014 and spent time on loan at fellow League Two club Shrewsbury Town in 2015. He had a final loan at Hartlepool United in 2015 before being released by Sunderland in the summer of 2016. His next league club was Colchester United, making 95 appearances for them before his release in the summer of 2019, where he spent a season at Gillingham before joining Crew in 2020. Finney signed professional terms with Crew in early 2016, again while still a scholar at the club's esteemed academy, and he made his debut 
for Crew in May 2017. After scoring eight goals in 30 previous appearances during the 2020-21 season, Finney unfortunately suffered a broken leg but successfully returned from injury. And he's definitely a player to watch today. Kirk came through the highly respected Crew Alexander Football Academy, earning a call up to the senior team while only still in his second year scholarship. He made his debut in the Football League on the 16th of February 2016. After helping Crew to win promotion to League One in 2020, scoring nine goals and providing more assists than any other League Two player, Kirk signed a new two year deal with the club through to June 2022. Following your heart, in spirit, in soul. You make every tackle, score every goal. You're part of it, wherever you are in the world. From the first minute, until the last kick. Victories, heartbreaks, you're part of the fabric. The passion, devotion, supercharging emotion. For you, there is only one. Abiding loyalty, togetherness, that is second to none. Follow every kick, every tackle, every goal. With access to live stream games and match day commentary. With coverage spanning the globe. Behind the scene content, newsletters and match highlights. There is no better way for you to get closer to your club. And with I follow sales supporting them, there's no better way to show your love. You can't be there. Be there with I follow. Men from MK1 got off to the best possible start when Deli Ali, fresh from winning the Football League Young Player of the Month award, superbly swept home from 15 yards on three minutes after a superb interception and pass from the class act known as Darren Potter. The Dons were full of confidence and in total control of the game, but against the run of play, Crew drew level on six minutes when Carl McFadson headed Matt Tiltle's hopeful cross into his own net. Will Grigg restored the lead on a quarter of an hour when he poked home Bowditch's dangerous corner from the left, scoring his fifth goal of the season in the process. The Don's relentless pressure was rewarded two minutes into the second half. Ali brilliantly getting above his man to tower a header past Barrett from Ray's pinpoint cross. Ali provided another great moment on the 70th minute when his stunning 50-yard pass found Benik Afobi, who held off the challenge before Cawley slotting past Barrett for his seventh goal of the season. There was still time for Ali to ensure he went on with the match ball. Firing low under Barrett after being picked out with a brilliant backhill pass from substitute Tom Hitchcock. Ben Reeves completed the route with a lovely shot from inside the box on the 90th minute.
Screwfix proudly supports football at home. Well, Harry, let's start with you and the, and the early stages you've, of your career. Am I right in thinking you, you were with Cambridge until the age of 12 and then got released and then rejoined at 15? What was that experience like for yourself? Yeah, it was a tough one because I think at the start, I, I didn't get released, I actually left, but um, I struggled with injuries when I was younger. Um, I, didn't, I wasn't really enjoying football anymore, so I decided to leave um, and go back to playing local. Um, and then I just started really enjoying football again. Like you said, joined back when I was 15, 16, and yeah, gone from there. When you were with Cambridge in your youth, you had a number of loan spells in the, foot, in the non-league. Sorry, Do you think that sort of made you the player you are, it sort of roughened you up and got you ready for men's football? Yeah, definitely, because I think there's a difference between youth football and men's football. Um, you know, you're, you're not going to get grown men elbowing you in the face at youth team level so it was definitely good to get that experience um, because I think you need it when you go into the men's game uh, because like I said it's it's so different to youth football. I think when you were a a first year scholar you joined the first team for pre-season training what was that like as such a young kid and you know did anyone really take you under their wing and sort of guide you? Yeah no it was really good I had loads of people you know helping me out the gaffer at the time was Sean Zary he was really good with me. Um, then I'd really experienced centre backs there as well, so it was a good good learning curve, and you know it's probably made me the player I am today. Obviously, coming through Cambridge and being in local to area, it must have been you know some feeling to make your debut. Can you remember it? Can you remember your sort of your feelings and your emotions building up to the game? My f- actual debut? Yeah. Uh, it was yeah, it was in the uh, it was the Checker Trade tro- Trophy at the time, and I was actually on the bench. Um, obviously, there weren't a lot of fans there, but you know just. As a local boy, I always wanted to play for, for Cambridge, so to do that at 17, I think I was, was yeah, it was a dream come true. Do you still look back at your time at Cambridge with fond memories? You know, you scored a few goals there, you captained the side that you grew up with, it must hold a special place in your heart even now. Yeah, I'll never have a bad word to say about Cambridge, I love it. Um, and it's, it's good to see him doing so well now, and hopefully we'll see him next year in League One. Obviously, Russ, what you here in January? sort of said you were his number one target going into the January transfer window. Looking back now, what was it about MK Dons and Russell Martin that really drew you here? <laughs> um, I think everyone can see the style of football is just so so attractive and especially the way I play, I think, you know, it brings the best out of me and, you know, it's just an enjoyable enjoyable team to play in and, you know, all the boys are brilliant as well, so it's just a brilliant place to be at the minute. You mentioned the way we play. You've got a lot of plaudits from the fans and, and the staff alike. Do any of your mates really watch the games and just say to you, like, what on earth are you doing driving out centre half with the ball like that? Pretty much, just because they probably wouldn't have seen me do that at Cambridge. So um, it's probably weird. It's pretty. It's weird for me now, but you know, I'm enjoying it and hopefully I can keep playing more. It's such a specialist position. How nice is it that you know you're 21 and, and Russ is putting faith in you to play such an important position in his team? Yeah, you, you need. I think to play the best, you need. You need confidence from your manager, and that's certainly what he gives me. Um, you know, we go through clips every week, and I know what I, I need to improve on, and hopefully, I can just keep improving because he's played at the best level himself. So, I just need to be a sponge off him, and you know, keep learning. Was mentioned it the other week uh, about Dean Lewis and coming to MK Dons. It'd be impossible for you not to hear of Louis. What have been your impressions with him, and how good has he been for you? Yeah, he's been brilliant. I ain't got a bad word to say about him. He's, you know, when me and was a he gives us a lot of stick, but um, you know when we when we want to know something or ask a question, he's always got time for us, and you know he's been brilliant with me and Moza. Some of the gaffer always says about him is you know even at his age he tells him he can have a couple of days off if he wants or, or not joins in training, but you know he's always there, he's always doing the same what you do, and that's a credit to him as a, as a person and yeah. a player. Yeah, I, I don't think I've ever seen him, you know, f- feel anything in his body like a, an injury. He's just he's a machine. He's incredible and. It's testament to him. He's played however, 800 games, um, so you know he's had a brilliant career. And it'd be silly with, of me not to, to learn of him and ask questions. Talk about the style of play that Russ has implemented here. Then you're getting near enough 90 touches on the ball a game, completing almost 70 passes. You know you're, you're a defender first, but you're also a footballer. How how much fun is that to play in? Yeah, it is. Like you say, I'm a defender first, so clean sheets are the main thing. But you know when we're playing how we do. You know, it's, it's so enjoyable on the pitch, and we, we're in control in, of most of the game. So you know, it's just it's so enjoyable to play in, and you know, hopefully it continues. Why have you not? While you've not scored yet, and I'm sure I'm sure you want one before the end of the season. 
uh, on the weekend there was, a, there was a couple of blocks last second blocks last ditch blocks I imagine that's almost the same as, as scoring a goal knowing you've kept one out with, with a last, last second time. yeah like you say that's my job at the end of the day you know I do want to score obviously but I'm sure I'll take clean sheets over uh, goals any day we'll touch on the fans last week they've taken to you really well on social media voting you man of the match more often than not what would be your words to them and you know how how much you're looking forward to finally playing in front of them one day yeah they've been brilliant to me on social media to be fair you know really the boys have made me feel welcome but the fans have as well and you know it's a shame they're not here but you know hopefully I'm sure in the near future they will be and hopefully they'll enjoy us the style of play we play so hopefully it'll be soon and I'm excited to see them cheers Harry Briege Bastille, Baking Life Special. Hello and welcome to our bank holiday fixture, MK Dons vs Crew Alexandra. MK Dons come into this game having their Good Friday fixture against Lincoln City postponed. The Dons will be looking to keep up their excellent recent form which has seen them win four games back to back. The Railway men have enjoyed a good season having won promotion back to League One last year. It could be a great game. How would you like to test your football knowledge? I'm going to show you 8 club crests, all from teams we've played this season. Can you name the teams? You have 5 seconds for each one. It's of course Northampton Town. Did you get it right? Hull City. That was Shrewsbury Town. Our next opponents, the Tractor Boys, Ipswich Town. It's Gillingham. Who remembers our away game? Unfortunately, we lost despite a record-breaking 56 passes move for our opening goal. It's Wigan Athletic. That was a trickier one. Doncaster Rovers. Yes, it's the Black Cats, Sunderland. And finally, our well-known rivals, AFC Wimbledon. How did you do? If you got six or more correct, well done. Next, we are joined by Matty Sorinola and David Kasumu for a round of Me or Him. We asked them a series of quick-fire questions, and this is how they answered. Who has got the best taste in music? <laughs> <laughs> Who is more likely to score a penalty in a playoff final? <laughs> Just smash it. Who is most likely to cry during a sad movie? Uh... <laughs> Ready? <laughs> You've done it before? <laughs> nah, nah. nah. <laughs> uh, you have to see that quick, innit? <laughs> Who's the biggest moaner? Straight, just good vibes, me. <laughs> Think some lies here. <laughs> Who's got the best first touch? <laughs> There's no thinking that. <laughs> just, nice that's day. it, just. <laughs> I see the one when you come. Who's the biggest joker? I give it to him, that's his moment. Class, count me. <laughs> <laughs> 
Who trains the hardest? <laughs> Snood up everything, this guy. <laughs> Who would win in a plank off challenge? Don't like planking, but that's all. Who's least likely to keep a secret? Uh, <laughs> I didn't know the answer to how this went safe. Who has the healthiest diet? <laughs> no chance with that takeaway you get, mate. Hey, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows the most about current affairs? And involved in some no of you. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, who's got the most style? <laughs> well, like David, copy some of my ideas and stuff. So, nah, nah. Thanks, Matty and David. We have learnt a lot. Well, that's all from me. I've got Easter eggs to go through. Enjoy the game and the rest of your Easter. Come on, you dons. The new Suzuki hybrid range. For you, me, her, him, everyone. Hi everyone, hope you're all safe and well. Uh, just a quick update from me as usual before a home game. Um, obviously on the back of a really good performance and result against Doncaster, uh, 1-0 win. I felt we should have probably scored a few more goals, but I think we deserved the win and um, really pleased for the team actually for a clean sheet because they deserved that and it's been it's been a while coming. So uh, really pleased with that. Also saw some stuff that we can work on and have worked on since that game that will really help us moving forward as is always the process, win or, win or lose, we, we learn from every game um, and try and refine and sharpen what we do and improve what we do. Um, and obviously, we had a game postponed. I'm speaking to you now uh, on the day we should be playing Lincoln, um, but unfortunately it was cancelled uh, due to them having COVID. So we hope everyone is safe and well at Lincoln. We look forward to playing against them in a week or so. Uh, now it's been rearranged, but... Um, it would have been nice for us to play, it would have helped us, we've got real momentum, but what it has done is given us a bit of time to work and some of the guys to rest a bit as well because they played a lot of football and we now have another hectic schedule coming, six games in 18 days that we have to be ready for. So recovery is going to be really important, uh, training properly is never a problem with these guys, they train brilliantly, real intensity, we've had a great session today um, and they've had a couple of days off as well to enjoy a bit of break in the body and we're going to need that moving forward and we're going to need to utilise the whole squad. We've got pretty much everyone fit now, which is great. Uh, apart from Kieran Agard, who's obviously a bit a bit more of a long-term injury. So um, really good to have everyone back fit in training. Really good numbers, helps us a lot. And we're going to need everyone moving forward, um, no doubt about it, in a really busy schedule. So we all want a really strong finish to the season. And hopefully that will start today against Crew, a team that um, probably one of the, the games really this season that we look at and um, got outperformed on the day. And uh, so it will be a be a good test for us, see how far we'd come. And we've got a really uh, tough run of fixtures in the next three or four games. Teams who are in and around the playoffs, who want to be up there and expecting to get promoted and re are right in the mix. So it's going to be a really good test for us, but one we're looking forward to. And um, hopefully you guys can enjoy the game and we'll see you again on Saturday, hopefully after a positive result. Take care, stay safe. Following your heart, in spirit, in soul. You make every tackle, score every goal. 
You're part of it, wherever you are in the world. From the first minute until the last kick. Victories, heartbreaks, you're part of the fabric, the passion, devotion, supercharging emotion. For you, there is only one. Abiding loyalty, togetherness that is second to none. Follow every kick, every tackle, every goal. With access to live stream games and matchday commentary. With coverage spanning the globe. Behind the scene content, newsletters and match highlights. There's no better way for you to get closer to your club. And with I follow sales supporting them, there's no better way to show your love. And you can't be there. Be there with I follow.